President Trump's visit to Texas on Tuesday, Vice President Mike Pence is there today, getting a first-hand look at the recovery efforts. He and his wife Karen joined in a special prayer outside a church that was damaged really badly here in Rockport. This is one of the first communities hit when Harvey stormed into Texas as a hurricane six days ago. He met with people dealing with the devastation, shaking hands, hugging. Afterward, the vice president helped remove some downed tree branches. And we just learned President Trump will donate $1 million of his own personal money to Harvey relief efforts. The president is planning to return to Texas on Saturday and may also visit parts of Louisiana affected by Harvey. We've seen hundreds of rescues in Houston over the last week. People saved from floodwaters in more ways than one. But did you know local rescue teams work hard all year round to be ready for those same types of rescues? Our Tara Molina caught up with some of them today. She joins us now from Lake Erie. And Tara, that's just one of the waterways these teams work on. Right, Rob, we all know and love this lake, but we've got rivers and other waterways here too. And of course, the flooding that goes along with them. That is why these teams are in place to keep you safe no matter where you are. And they're prepared for just about anything. Beautiful but dangerous. It is a raging river when it's flooding. This is video we shot from a recent rescue effort turned recovery on Tinker's Creek just this summer. Rivers that you wouldn't consider a problem when there's a flood are the problem. This is our Swift Water Rescue Team. We have a few members from each city that are specially trained for swift water and dive rescue. River, lake, pond, or floodwaters, they're ready. Lorraine, Cuyahoga, Lake Geauga, and Ashtabula County. And their equipment and training, similar to what you may have seen in video from Houston this past week. So we can respond anywhere and sustain ourselves for 24 hours. Dive team. You're diving blind. And rescue gear. It's strictly a field situation. Boats and more. We can run over the top of a mailbox and tear a hole in the bottom of any of these inflatable craft. So we have a rigid hulk. And we do it here on a much smaller scale, um, but you know, kind of model what they're doing. But probably not what you think of when you hear fire department. We'll think of firefighters as simply just go put out a fire or drive an ambulance. So there was a need and we're fulfilling that need. Each team member has years of special training and more trainings annually to make sure you are always in good hands. No matter what happens here, we're prepared. We are, we are. And we have all those assets available to us as well should something like that happen. And this is a team that is active year round. They tell me spring and summer are their busiest seasons. But when flooding and ice are an issue in the winter, these are the people who respond. Reporting live in Cleveland, I'm Tara Molina, News 5.